High Resolves is a leader in the design and delivery of immersive learning experiences for young people, and particularly around uh, citizenship education. Society has tended to completely undervalue the voice of young people. We don't let them vote. Uh, we don't particularly care about their views on policy issues. And one of the things we cared a lot about at High Resolves is actually uh, activating young people so that their voice could, could be expressed and then do whatever we can to amplify that message. Training young people to be able to be more confident, uh, more informed about the issues, and to not feel afraid about injecting their voice uh, and to shaping policy discussions, I think it's something that they're willing to do in greater and greater numbers. The question for us is, as adults, are we willing to listen? So I spend a lot of my life uh, really thinking about growth strategy and about how you try to take small things and make them big things. Uh, and I always thought about that in the corporate context, but really all those same principles apply in the social sector as well. And in many ways, High Resolves has been an experiment uh, in applying business thinking, entrepreneurship to social innovation. And what we've been trying to do is take this really interesting and powerful uh, learning that we've, we've had over the years about how you work with young people to create transformational experiences to get them to act in the long-term collective interest of humanity. The problem is way bigger than any single organization could address on its own. In Australia, we currently are working with about 5% of young people in Australia. Our aim is to be working with about 50% in the next four to five years. Well, central to that is increasing our reach and university partnerships are really critical. So UTS for us is a really important partnership here in Sydney, but increasingly in the rest of the world, it's all about partnering so that we can reach more and more young people. Uh, and really for us, it's actually the sky is the limit when you think about it, because there is no end to the amount of work you could do to prepare people to be better citizens. It's a real honor to be receiving this award for Social Entrepreneur of the Year from the Schwab Foundation. In many ways, while it's a personal honor, what really makes me happy is it's drawing attention to high results and the work that we're doing around citizenship education. If you look at the world and you look at the problems of society, so many of them come back to the need to have a more active citizenry that's engaged in the life of the community. And by drawing attention to the work that we're doing, whether it's through this award or other types of things, it just means we're gonna be able to expand that work. And that is what I derive the greatest joy.